We're going to have some fun. I'm going to show you these acupressure points that are right here. And I'm going to tell you how to press them, what they're good for. And then I'm going to offer how to, to give you five free acupressure videos where I'm going to teach you a point in each of the videos. So stay tuned. First, let's get right into it. These points right here. I would appreciate it as, as, a, as I'm showing you these things, that you try it out yourself, that you press this point yourself. So it's right, you can see where it is. It's right here where the eye socket meets the bridge of your nose. And there is a little indentation right here. And there are so many different ways you can press this point. You can press it like this. You can press it with just one hand. I, I often like to press it with my thumbs, just like this. And I will go back and forth slowly to feel where is it sensitive? How much pressure do you give? Just enough so that it feels like, ooh, that feels like it. If you're, can you press too hard? Yeah, absolutely. How do you know if you're pressing too hard? It hurts. <laughs> if it hurts good, you're pressing just right. If it hurts bad, you're pressing too hard. So this point here is good for headaches. It's good for your brain. If your brain it feels tired or sluggish or you have brain fog, this is a great point for you. It's a very good point for reducing stress, for burnout. Acupressure is simply marvelous for all kinds of common complaints. Now, there's all kinds of things that this point can help you with for your eyes. But if you need to see a doctor, if it's a medical condition, you should see a doctor. Acupressure is not a um, substitution for medical care. But this point could be really helpful if your eye wanders or if your eyes are sensitive to light um, or if your eyes are tend to be reddish um, or, or reddish, I mean just slightly pink. Um, or if you just have a lot of stress or eye strain, you hold these points. Now this point is also good. I get, I get excited about teaching acupressure, so. Um, and I don't want to excuse myself because I, you know, it's, it's most of my students just love my enthusiasm because it helps them to learn. They know it's coming from my heart. I've been doing this for over 50 years. And I want you to know that these points are good for a stiff neck. If I have a stiff neck, then I'll hold these points with one hand. See how I'm doing it? So I'm, I'm pressing gently upward and I'm also squeezing as I do this. Now with your other hand, your thumb is gonna be on one side and your fingers are gonna be on the other on your neck. So I'm turning my hand like this try it. And I'm pressing these points right in just, just the whole neck area, squeezing in firmly, releasing slowly, squeezing in firmly, releasing slowly. As I'm holding these acupressure points right in here. So you can see that there are so many different uses for just one point. It's, it's wonderful to know acupressure. So I'd like to introduce you to the art of acupressure using your hands instead of needles, but on the same points that they use needles on. And I think you're gonna find it fun to learn and useful and practical. So I'm gonna offer you to give you five free videos. It's called the five day acupressure challenge. And, uh, and I've left you a link. So look around this video. Um, if you're on your phone, you might not see it. So if you're on your phone, type in either your email address or just say link question mark and I'll send it, I'll message it to you. Um, 
So there you've got it. I would love it if you share this with your, with your friends and especially people who want to learn this healing information. I got to be honest with you. I am 70 years old now and I'm ready to, to share it, to teach it to as many people as possible. What is it? It's this healing information that you can do with your fingertips. And for me, it's so marvelous. I, you know, I wanted to help people. So I went to massage school. That was good. It was okay. It was good. But I wanted to learn more healing information of what I could do, let's say for fibromyalgia, for chronic fatigue or for headaches. Let's say it's a migraine headache or a frontal headache or a backache or Let's say a person has sciatica. These are all the things you can do and learn by using acupressure. I wanted to show you this point. So if you came late, rewind. You don't have to rewind it. You just press it. And, it, and tell people, all you have to do is click that little button in the lower right-hand corner just to hear me. <laughs> Look, let's get together. I want to show you five acupressure points in five days. I call it the five day challenge. I'm charging you zero money. It's, it's cost free. Why am I doing it? Because I want to turn people on to acupressure. And so in five days, you'll get an, a, a, an email from me each day, giving you a link to the next video. And I will show you another very practical acupressure point. So there you have it. If you don't see the link, type in link and look for it in the next couple of hours. Um, I'll message it to you. Um, if you're not sure that it's going to get to you, just leave me your email address and we'll be in touch. I love to teach acupressure and I'd love to share it with you.